Hi everybody, I wanted to talk to you about this week's habit of health, and that is quiet time. And I will be honest with you, I did not get quiet time. Um, as a busy mom with six kids, quiet time was like nirvana, and if I had 15 minutes to myself, I wasn't going to spend it breathing and mantraing and all that stuff. And I could never really figure out what the benefit was. If I was supposed to sit there for five or ten minutes and relax and feel all sleepy, every time I did that, I would actually get sleepy and want to fall asleep. And I thought, well, hey, if the goal is to relax, why not just actually sleep? But um, as I've learned more about this habit of health, and it talks about it in Dr. A's uh, Habits of Health book on page 314 and 315, it's not just about relaxing. Um, it's really about learning how to develop the skill, build the muscle, if you will, of being able to calm your brain, that part of your mind that uh, nags you or, or bothers you or says you can't do this or you're going to fail or I'm stressing out or worries about the future or concentrates on what happened before um, instead of focusing on the now. And um, one of our coaches calls that the monkey mind. It chatters away. Um, and it's never productive, and you need to be able to quiet that part of your brain uh, and really access the real you, the one who focuses on your long-term goals. You need to practice that. And so one of those health, healthy habits is developing um, consistent quiet time. And we've also found that people who spend 10 to 15 minutes meditating also get better sleep and they are more successful at achieving their long-term goals. Uh, again, it's accessing that, that long-term goal part of your brain. So um, for this week, for our healthy habit, give it a try. Don't expect that you're going to be perfect. You know, you'll be sitting there and 30 seconds in, you'll realize you've spent the last 15 seconds thinking about the grocery list. And now you're thinking about thinking about the grocery list. And you're going to constantly be wandering away and pulling it back, wandering away and pulling it back. And that is normal. That That is good. It means you're you're starting. And, and it takes a while to get good. Just like any skill, it doesn't look difficult because... It's, it's a very simple process. That doesn't mean it's easy to master immediately. Um, get alone. Do it in the car while you're waiting for your kids to come out of school. Do it in the morning uh, before everybody gets up. Do it at night before you fall asleep. Um, but try to focus on doing just that. Don't try to do it like while you're exercising because obviously part of your brain is focused on not falling off the elliptical or something. Um, set a timer. Start with like three minutes. Three minutes is, is doable. You can all find three minutes. And um, set a timer so you're not going, okay, i got to check the clock. How much time do I have left? You'll know because it'll beep. Uh, there's phone apps and things for that as well. Um, a big part of it is is breathing. Just breathe. Um, focus on your breath. Focus on breathing in and breathing out slow. You can use um, uh, a mantra if you want. You know, I am loved or healthy or whatever it is that works for you and the mantra is great because it reaffirms something that you want to really work on but at the same time your brain cannot shut down it cannot focus on nothing it, it's active and it was designed to be that way so giving it something very simple and repetitive to focus on tends to kind of help you get in the zone and don't have a goal uh, there's no right or wrong way to meditate. You can do guided meditation. You can do it sitting down. You can do it laying in bed. You can, you know, find what works for you. The important thing is um, finding time to be consistent, to make time for quiet time every day, and to keep at it, to really realize that this is a skill that's going to help you long term as far as health and achieving your weight loss goals. So put some time into getting good at it. And if you find it's valuable, or you need uh, some suggestions um, as to how to get better at it, contact your uh, coach, your health coach, and ask. They love to share info, and if you think it's useful, I've been using it with my kids, so teach somebody else. Um, we're really focusing on using these habits and then teaching them to somebody else because it reinforces it in a different part of our brain. We're just getting it on a whole different level, that much deeper, that much more 
um, permanently uh, etched into our brains, and that's what we want, right? We want these to be so deep in our brains that they're habits, and we can do them without thinking about it. So I'll talk to you next week.